Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today I want to talk about updating your Q4 OS. So in here there's install application Q4 OS software center. And here's the update manager. What you would do is you would install that. See, mine's installed, so it's asking to uninstall it. So I'm going to cancel this. I want to keep it. And what you get is a notification down here. There are 26 software updates available. Now, I want to show you an option for some of those who have been around for Linux longer. You can use your Synaptic Package Manager as well. I'm going to reload the software repositories, the software that is available, whether installed or uninstalled. So this, I updated that list. I'm going to mark all upgrades. This here gave me a list of all updates, um, upgrades that's available. So I'm going to mark them. Now, it hasn't done anything just yet. So if we go to here, into this. Here we go. Custom filters. And we can search, see these things here. Missing recommends marked changes. This mark changes is showing everything that I just marked to be upgraded. Now say I did not want to up upgrade my uh, upper stable for whatever reason. Now it's gone. So if I run my updates and upgrades this way, upper is not going to get upgraded or, or updated. Let's unmark Google Chrome again, also. And it also came off the list. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to apply this. Now everything that's in this list for mark changes is being changed, being upgraded or updated. This here gives you the options if you feel like you have a software application that you need to keep at a stable state, uh, at its state right now or stable, uh, the version of that software package to keep it there. You have the ability to do that with Synaptic Package Manager. So we'll give this a few more minutes. And this little red exclamation by here, by my, uh, see if it'll come up, by my uh, simple screen recorder icon here. There's Dropbox. Dropbox is up to date. This is the update uh, notification manager. And that's my simple screen recorder one. Okay. So now it's downloaded them. Now it's going through the changes. This part is showing you the changes. You can see I, I had to press that triangle there. Let's give it a second again. They'll probably ask me to reboot, but I won't do that right exactly right now. I want to show you something else. I can see in here there's some Linux headers. Usually anything that's dealing with Linux, it want, it's going to want to reboot. Or you actually should reboot it even if it doesn't ask you to. You should reboot it immediately after the updates because the Linux headers are an important part of the system that helps it run. And there's configure Linux image. Okay. 
Elohim. And pause this. Okay, looks like it's finished this thing here. So I'm going to reload. I'll run Synaptic again. Reload. This time I should only come up with uh, Google Chrome and Opera. And there we go. So this here is showing the list that it wants to update. <coughs> and the following package will automatically install it and no longer required. And so you see the list has changed when I ran Synaptic. So I'm going to hit yes and finish everything. So as you can see, whether you use Synaptic Package Manager or the Update Manager notification from the uh, Q4S Software Century, it essentially does the same thing. Except with the soft, uh, Q4S Updater, um, you don't have the options of saying this package or that package should be updated or not, or if you want to leave it alone. The Q4S uh, software updater will update everything automatically for you. And give a pause here for a minute. I uh, don't know how big Opera and or Google Chrome are this time. Um, Usually, well, usually they're not that small. I'm going to give a pause here for a moment. Okay, so it's now removing unnecessary packages. So I know we're getting close to the end here. See? And now with the Q4S updater saying it wants to reboot. That's because it knows the Linux headers have been changed. So, thank you. Have a nice day.